Welcome back to Aero channel. In this video, we are going to cover the very basics of starting our sheet metal part. So open up SOLIDWORKS, and when it's open, start a new part. The first thing that we are going to do is make sure that we've got the sheet metal toolbar open. Go up to the command manager at the top of the screen, and right click somewhere in this empty space here. And then from the menu that pops up, let's select sheet metal which is this one here. We then get this sheet metal toolbar that has all of the sheet metal tools on it and we can either leave this floating or we can drag it to one side and dock it to the side. So I'm going to dock it down at the bottom here. So all of these tools will remain available. We can also add a sheet metal tab to the command manager and we can do this just by right clicking on any of these names of the existing tabs. And then from the menu that pops up, let's select sheet metal. Now we have this new sheet metal tab here, and this has got all of the same tools as the toolbar down at the bottom. But it can be helpful just to have tools in two places, and these icons at the top are just a little bit bigger and a bit clearer for us to see in these videos. Now that we are set up, we are going to start actually making our sheet metal part. There are a number of ways to make sheet metal parts, and probably the simplest but also the most flexible is by creating a base flange. So we'll look at this version first. Put simply, this flange is just the first feature of a sheet metal part. We can then add things to this like bands and cuts and so on to build up the part. And in that way, it's very similar to a normal SOLIDWORKS part. To start the base flange, first we need to sketch the size of the flange. So let's start a sketch on the top plane just by selecting it here on the left and pressing sketch. Then select the center rectangle and let's draw a rectangle with a center point at the origin. Then let's add some dimensions, so make it 200 wide and 100 millimeters high. During this course, I will be working in millimeters. We can see down here, MMGS stands for millimeters, grams, seconds. You can also work in inches if you prefer. When we create sketches in SOLIDWORKS, it's very important to try to always fully define your sketches. We can see this sketch is fully defined because all of the lines are black, and down here it says fully defined. We also can't move this rectangle around or change the size. If any of our lines are still blue, it means that our sketch is underdefined. So try just grabbing the center point of that center rectangle and dragging it to the origin to fix it there. When we are fully defined, we can then exit the sketch by clicking up here on the top right. To add the base flange, Let's select the sheet metal tab from the command manager. Then select base flange slash tab. It's the first tool here. We can also select it down here on the sheet metal toolbar. It's the exact same tool. Then here on the left, we will get this message. We need to either draw a sketch or select an existing sketch. So let's select that sketch that we just drew by left clicking on it in the graphics area. We should get a yellow preview, something like this. We've got a lot of options here on the left with different sheet metal parameters and we'll go through these in more detail as we go through the course. But for now, let's just set the thickness here to 1mm. Then set the bend allowance to K factor 0.5 and then the auto relief to rectangular, also 0.5. Once we've got all of those details done, just press OK by clicking this green tick at the top. Now the base flange has been created, and we can see here on the left, we've got this base flange 1 feature. We can edit this just like any other feature, by left clicking on it and pressing edit feature. You might also notice that we now have this sheet metal folder at the start of our design tree, and this contains all of the global parameters for our sheet metal part. And we'll cover this on more detail in future videos. Then down here at the bottom of the design tree, we also have this flat pattern folder. This contains a flattened version of our part. At the moment, we've just got a single flat part anyway, so this isn't very useful. But we will go into this in more detail in some future videos. And then finally up here, we have this cutlist folder. This is essentially the same as the solid bodies folder, if we are just doing a solid modeling part. If we expand this, it will contain all of the different sheets within our part. So if we had two separate sheets within this part, maybe something like an enclosure with a base and a lid, then we would have two separate sheets under this list. 
and we'd have a 2 in brackets here instead of a 1. So as I mentioned, we'll cover all of these items in more details as we go through the course. But to quickly recap this video, a base flange is one of the best ways of starting our sheet metal part. It's essentially the first feature of our sheet metal part. And we can create it just by drawing a closed profile sketch and then selecting base flange from the sheet metal tab or toolbar that will also automatically add the sheet metal specific features into our model so the sheet metal folder, the flat pattern folder, and the cut list folder at this point we can save our part let's call it something like base flange example and then we will pick this up in the next video thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like hopefully it can be a little helpful and useful